<laughs> oh my god. Smack it around a little. You'll speak when you're spoken to. Or the science yet. <laughs> You've been the same. You'll speak when you're spoken to. Please do not talk to discrepancy amplifier. You know something I learned about uh, the Outer Worlds DLCs? Once you buy one, anytime you load up the game before I'd assume the point you start it, it actually gives you a little warning saying that before you start whatever DLC, it is recommended that you be a certain level. Well, that certain level in this case for Murder on the Rodius Express DLC, which is what we're starting, is level 30. I'm level 23. I should note a few of my guns are actually higher level than I, than I am. Uh, like my rifle here is level 27, but I'm only level 23. So I guess there's no level limitation when it comes to weaponry. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? Those are cows, not fertilizer shipments, and I don't know who keeps approving them. I don't give a damn if anyone orders them. I didn't approve it, so why is it coming on my ship? Impeccable timing, Captain. I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. And that is how we begin the DLC. Welcome back, Who are you? Captain. How can I be of assistance? Maybe inform me about that little show that you were talking about? You mentioned an Arthur Weather drama? I'd like to see it. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. Murder on Erodius. Halcy and Helen vs. the Brain Eaters, Chapter 12, starring Ruth me as Halcyon Helen. It was the law forsaken parasites. Damn. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. You're trying to avenge but a lot of people. it wasn't just the triple hmm. distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? Halcyon News Network with breaking news. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Wait, what? Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. And let me guess. I have to perform that special we investigation. We have a coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Holy shit. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Kinky. Okay. Uh, Mr. How the fuck did you get my communications codes? Ada? I thought we changed them. <laughs> you go on one little tinder day and the chick just lost her mind you had to change all your communications codes damn near abandon your ship but then you realize it's such a piece of ship no one could track 
piece of ship, piece of shit, that no one could track it if they want it. Oh. Why am I suddenly dollar store Sherlock Holmes here? Let me guess. This is about Halcyon Helen's murder. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. Is her death real? Like, I've killed a lot of people. Like, a lot of people. Um... Also, you know, the whole colony starving thing? Is her death really your biggest issue right now? Uh, at first, you're, and your first thought was to come to me? Trust me, dude, I'm not brand safe at all. <laughs> I'm murderous, I'm a backstabber, I steal, I lie, I cheat, I hit on every woman I see. I am not very profitable. To say the least. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, so glad to finally have a word with you. I would have been so disappointed if Ludovico monopolized your attention. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel, least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. <laughs> Not the only one. I look one. forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. So I get to be Sherlock Holmes. I'm having trouble seeing the death of a two-bit actor. Well, her two bits were, um... Well, they could carry her acting career quite. That's not an attack on female actors. I just... Okay, she hit a lot of really good buttons for me, and I really wish she wasn't dead. I would add her to the crew if I could. So it's on the... As an assault on the county, colony, I was shaken by the news myself. Helen brought a lot of joy to this colony. Yeah, a lot of joy. Never heard of Sublight Underground. Don't worry. You and I are going to become very close acquaintances. I run the Grand Colonial Hotel and Piraeus Spaceport. Ludovico and I are business partners, in a manner of speaking. Eridanos is our shared Eridanos. responsibility. Eridanos is not our shared responsibility. Eridanos is my responsibility, to which you and your organization have latched on like a parasite. Please, Lou. Sublight Underground is built on discretion. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give her the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. I just need to make this clear with you idiots, as uh, Misty so quaintly put it. I'm the only one here who shouldn't be trusted, because I'll kill you both and take the loot. I don't care about any of you. I'll kill everyone, la every last one of you. I don't care if both of you are level 32 with weapons that could send my ass into the Nets. Uh, multiverse? Universe? Ada, what the hell is neighboring this colony? Black hole? That'd be... That wouldn't surprise me. Gentlemen, please, as far as I'm concerned, you're both idiots. First sensible thing I've heard all day. Uh, oh, Who are uh, you? My apologies, Mr. Ludovico. That was unprofessional of me. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keene. Okay. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. Ooh. I've been studying your dossier. I'm sorry, what? You're a talented diplomat. You know how to ask questions, and you have a gift for getting answers without resorting to violence. Um... As far as I'm concerned... You're the ideal inspector for this case. I feel like Ada needed to butt in there saying, Uh, miss, the way she is such a good diplomat, it's the fact that she threatens extreme violence against those who oppose what she wants and those who make her life more difficult. I threaten to skin every other person I find. 
I shoot anyone I don't like. What part of that says non-violent? Am I losing my mind? I'm not a good person. I do terrible things to anyone I run into who I don't somewhat slightly like in the least bits. Most people I kill, except for somewhat innocent. I threatened to, to shoot a grandma once, so. No, I, ex <laughs> I extorted a grandmother for more money. I specifically left, uh, Pravati, Pravati, Pravati? Pravati, yeah, Pravati and, um, Nokia back on the ship because I didn't want him to see me extorting a grandma for money after having told her that her son got viciously mauled. You know, I could have made it more convincing if I cut his hand off. That would have worked better. What the hell am I doing? Spectre Misty. What sound of that? Uh, shouldn't this be the constable's job? Constable? Just how many people are involved in this communication? Now I want to know. Just the three of us. Four, five, if you count, uh, Ada. Just the three. No one else jumping in here unexpectedly? You must excuse us. The situation on Eridanos is tense. If we don't bring Helen's killer to justice, this scandal could scupper our entire operation. Please, Captain. I'm asking you to help us. While you're pursuing your investigation, we'll make you a guest of honor at the Grand Colonial. Oh. I'll come lugging around and then decide. I don't know. We'll see if I'm in the area. I like being a guest of honor. See, she, this chick, she knows how to get me moving. Just scrot it, just, just caress that ego. Ooh, love being a guest of honor. Sure, you can count on me. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Oh. Ken Cannon and I must have a word. They're gonna but end up killing each other. But Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. You know, if you want me to kill the both of them so you can take over the entire operation, I can make that happen. Hell must have been pretty popular if her death could put an end to your operations. Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. Oh, yeah, no she did. No one has ever been as well-known or as well-loved. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, in a different timeline, I went up there and shoved a gun so far up their ass. They couldn't walk straight Probably mostly because I blew their head off. It may not have had much to do with the gun, but either way, either way, you seem competent, you could have dealt with this. I represent the law, Captain, but what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the Administrator is... politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. When I had to start dealing with politics, I end up shooting someone, and Ada can concur with that one. Relax, there's nothing I can't handle. I'm pleased to hear that. From everything I've heard, you're a competent freelancer. Very. And at the risk of sounding impertinent, we desperately need the help of someone competent. Thank you for your time, Captain. Whenever you're ready, I've authorized the Unreliable to land at the Grand Colonial. Yes. All right, I've got everything I need. Transmission terminated. There are the mysteries of foot. Received an invitation to Eridonos. Okay. Let's do this. Ooh. I don't know why they're trusting me to catch Halcyon Helen's killer. Okay. I want to say this right now because... I, I gotta admit, I bought this DLC first because I knew it was a murder mystery type of thing, and I do really, really like that sort of thing. I 
read Sherlock Holmes. No shit. <laughs> I read Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I have all the books and stuff. But, um... <laughs> I love murder mystery. Um... I want to say this right now. I want to bet $20 that Halcyon Helen is actually alive, faked her death to do something. Maybe something with a lover. I'm going to bet that. I bet it's not actually Halcyon Helen who died. I don't know why they're trusting me. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Oh no. Desperation. <laughs> confusion. Mistaken identity. <laughs> oh. Creation, uh. And genuine faith in your abilities. That last one. I like that last one. Thank you, Ada. I can always count on you for your kind words and care. Oh, god damn it, I never turned that down. Okay, thanks for the level up. I needed that. Also, that's kind of weird. It specifically gave me exactly the amount of XP I needed for level up, so maybe it's something to try and put you over the edge. But the devs also expected you'd already be near level 25 when you took on the mission. Mm. I'm gonna drop some points. Uh, I'm gonna drop a few points into lock picking. Oh, right. Yeah, at some point or another, I got permanently concussed. No clue why. No clue when. No clue how. <laughs> okay, Ada. Set sail to Aerodonos. Captain, we've arrived in Aerodonos. Mm hmm. I can tell. Girls, pack your bags. We're going on vacation. Also, there's a murder afoot. I would say there's a murderer and we should be worried, but honestly, I'm not really worried. <laughs> I've had so many people shoot at me. This is a new one. What the hell is happening to this place? We're here. We don't normally have an intro cutscene like that. But then again, this is a DLC. 2000, they are just showering me with XP, aren't they? Probably yet level 30 wouldn't be all that much. Speak to the bellhop. Oh, Captain, it's beautiful up here. Could we... Could we get more jobs like this one? Don't worry, I think the second DLC is where we get murdered. A lot. Hello, oh, hello, Jesus hello Christ. Hope your atmosphere entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight you salvage shipping atmosphere? underground or slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. I did not see that coming. Can you fill me in on the details of the murder? What's the moon in the hotel? Are a lot of people upset? Yeah, yeah, that sounds all great. I was promised a room. You were indeed. It's the penthouse suite. Oh, best room in the whole Grand Colonial. Does it come with a it stripper? It was actually Helen's not too long ago. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Oh, don't worry. She's probably Hell, still alive. Even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but yeah, I don't believe it. He did it. It's always the boyfriend. No, it's always the butler. Why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Serials? Was she a devices, divisive figure? Typical show business. Great, can you show me? Demo? I really want to be dismissive, but I also do actually kind of need information. Mm, not particularly. But I think some folks were jealous of her success or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. Oh. How did she get so famous? Why, she was a natural. People fell in love with her. She managed to wrangle up a following all on her own. Hmm. She ended up about as famous and high-runged as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. Actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. 
I imagine the admin briefed you about Helen's part in the Spectrum Brown unveiling. Too bad about the postponement. Not so terrible as Helen's murder, but still a crying shame. Interesting. I thought you worked for Slug, not Rizzo's. I do. Rizzo's happened to rent out the Grand Colonial Ballroom from Slug for the unveiling. A nice mutually beneficial event. But the murder's gone and ruined that. Along with nine out of ten of my favorite cereals. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. <laughs> oh my god, I was just thinking this. Hold on. I was just thinking this crap. Bags? What bags? Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage. Belongings. Kit. Wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. You're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? Armor, not clothes. Uh, maybe you should take that stupid hat off before you criticize my appearance. Hey, this is a hotel-mandated piece of my uniform, and it's very official. Even if it is a bit stupid. It's pretty goddamn Anyhow, stupid. I'll look for you in the grand ballroom later. Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. Ooh, I like being called Inspector. Okay, um, also, I gotta... Uh, uh, but... Oh god, I, I always get Helen's gone. Pravati. Feels like it's going against the laws of nature somehow. I used to watch mm. Helen serials. She'd fall into mortal peril every couple episodes, but she always lived in the end. Why do I feel like it's gonna be the same situation here? Um, I am kinda curious though. Oh Jesus Christ, the two of you. Okay. Like, we do watch her armor, right? I could have sworn you just said we aren't allowed to depart. Apologies, sir, but the atmospheric complex is on complete lockdown. No one's allowed in or out until the murder investigation's concluded. Do you have any idea who I am? I could bury you under six tons of paperwork before you had the time to cry out for your supervisor. I'm sure you could, but we fed our last box of grievance forms into the incinerator a few months ago. <laughs> is there anything I can do for you in the meantime? I cannot believe this. Hmm, disgruntled guest. Should I shoot him in the head? Ah, not yet. Wait for the gunfight to start. Fast roll locations, discovery, luxury landing pad. Thank you. Also, of course, per usual. You can steal literally anything that's not nailed down. I mean, literally anything. I'll take the damn sinks. If I have to, they're probably made of crystal and worth more than I'm making a year. Greetings, Inspector. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. You should be able to find the Colonial right ahead. Pardon? What is someone doing again? Oh yeah, investigating a murder. And I am a guest, so that is not stealing. Okay, uh, let's go look. I've been starting to play a little game as we travel. You might be a top runger if your hotel is taller than the highest mountain on Monarch. What are you talking about? We haven't visited any hotels. Is it just in general game you play with buildings? Maybe. Also, this is awesome looking. I love this. Stop with the level ups. God. I was gonna turn this into an idiotic school bash session of my stupidity for not being at the proper level, and then you just go and give me level up after level up after level up. It's as if you want me to be prepared for what's coming or something. God. I didn't end up with a permanent concussion for any other reason than I did. Then I want to be where I am. Ooh, feels like I'm breathing rich people air. Don't ever say rich people air again. I'll bet you ten bits this is all just some sort of publicity stunt. 
I bet I'll bet those bits if you can up it to 46 is that all I have huh why does it not surprise me yes you know that poor fellow must be inconsolable or the murderer I think it's the butler oh, hello hello Lord. inspector you don't know how relieved I am to see you yeah, also, please, for the love of the law, stop saying the law around me. They don't like me. Like, at all. At all. They hate me. Actually, I was looking for the bar. Do they serve drinks with little umbrellas here? Our dossier mentioned you had problems committing to a job. No. In accordance with Rizzo's company policy, I am required to give you this motivational message. Oh god, no. I believe you will find that assisting your local Rizzo's security department is even more thrilling than the sweet, smooth flavor of Rizzo's Spectrum Vodka. Dr. Goodnight, ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on? Are we finished Hello. with the pleasantries? There's something I'm excited to show you. And I'm excited to see it. Also, lady, I can solve this murder while I'm halfway through my fourth bottle of Spectrum Vodka, whatever the hell it is you said. Trust me, I think I already stole two of them. Hello, Duck. I'm guessing you're talking about the body. Uh, what you got for me, Doctor? Is it directions to the spa? Are you talking about that program? What was it called? Perspiring your way to productivity? What? No, what I have is much more invigorating. Our oh. coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Oh, please. You make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. I mean, by Behold, the time I'm done with it. My discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. What is this? Ooh, science. Interesting. I'm guessing this device makes use of uh, that. Don't know what that is. You're rather sharp in your upper story. I can see why you're the inspector. The discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Then it renders any discrepancies visible by using the power of magnification. So it's magnifying glass. Okay, got it. Go on then. Oh, I had it. it. Oh my god. Just treat the amplifier as you would a weapon. Hold it good <laughs> and steady and look down scope. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll want to peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. I got that. But also, I actually had the option to say, so it's just a magnifying glass. A really fancy one. I'll be right back. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Bite my shiny metal ass. Okay, note to self. Do not unequip the level 27 rifle because you will not be able to re-equip it because there is actually level limitations. I have no clue how I equipped this to begin with then. But if there's level limitations, let's try not to use them. Okay? Uh. Let me do this without losing my damn gun. There we go. That works. Okay. Really fancy magnifying glass. Skin erodius for evidence. To catch Helen's killer, you'll need to use his screpsy amplifier to scope and to reveal clues not visible to, na to the naked eye. Once you've located some evidence, aim directly at it while zooming the scope and press the interact button to analyze it. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, here we go. Ooh, okay, uh... The dis this unit has detected a discrepancy related to Halcyon Helen. Hi! Begin amplification. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. 
Smack it around a little. You'll speak when you're spoken to. Or the science yet. <laughs> You've been deciphered. You'll speak when you're spoken to. Please do not talk to discrepancy amplifier. Oh, you'll love this. Amplifier, tell the inspector about your features. Please do not interrupt the discrepancy amplifier. The discrepancy amplifier is programmed to take instruction from its registered or designated inspector. How curious. I must have set its impertinence levels to flagrant. This unit's features include an automated personality simulator. This unit has been programmed to simulate joy and satisfaction in assisting you. I'm pretty sure last time I had to deal with something like that, I killed it. <laughs> um, tell me about this discrepancy you found. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the grand ballroom. No Typically, kidding. The ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means okay. this must have been made by either Helen or her assailant or assailants. Interesting. This game understands my humor. Taste the dirt. Ah, I see you went to the Canid School of Detective Methods. The what? I just wanted to lick the floor. Uh, do the size these footprints match anything you have on record? Footprint is a tailor-made 8.75, suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size. It is also Seriously? the exact size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. There are traces of dirt throughout the footprint. Then they're probably Helen's, you overgrown magnifying twit. Analyze the dirt. The Where's dirt she been? traces of fertilizer, as well as the faint signs of crushed purpleberries and grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purpleberries can all be found in the purpleberry orchards located not far from the Grand Colonial. I could have figured that all out if I knew that was even a place here. So Helen must have died at the orchard been at the orchards before she died. This deduction appears sound. Good work, Inspector. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Check oh, in with the concierge. Well. Your room should be ready by now. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. You can shake me by the collar if you want. Okay, I need to chill. <laughs> that was uh oh that that was a bit off the cuff even for me. What are you two looking at? I knew I should have gotten her autograph when I had the chance. Why is everybody staring? Didn't nobody teach him to respect the dead? On Helen gone. I'm surprised they're not recording. Ooh, I wanna go steal it. Uh I was told I'd have a room. I'm sorry, ma'am, but while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that all new bookings, room upgrades, room downgrades, and in-room massages are suspe- Oh, you're the special inspector. Mr. Kincannon warned me you'd be checking in soon. Warned you? I didn't realize you had to be warned. Uh, who? Why, you? No, uh, not special inspector. I meant your boss. Oh, Mr. Kincannon. He runs all sublet underground operations in the Eridanus Atmospheric Complex, including the Grand Colonial Hotel. But he keeps his office down in the warehouse district, near the docks. If you should hmm. require to meet with him in person, you're most likely to find him there. Not While you're here, interested in that, could I set you up with a room? I was supposed to get a penthouse. Uh, just point me to the Grand Ballroom in our time. Uh, sure, what do you got? For you, only the best, ma'am, of course. You'll Does be it... staying in our luxurious penthouse suite, vacated just recently. So recently that, unfortunately, the room's still being cleaned. The last guest left her belongings behind when she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. Oh, don't worry. Simply call the elevator in the lobby, and our highly skilled operator will deliver you to your private floor with efficiency and cheer. Also, don't worry about the stuff. I am very good at cleaning up anything of value. I uh, want to check if my room is ready yet. Grand Gatonius are interesting. Some high-profile guests here, right? What can you tell me about them? My apologies, Give me some Inspector, info. but that would be a severe violation of guest privacy. We here at the Grand Colonial firmly believe that... 
All right, my supervisor just walked out of earshot. Some folks just don't understand the importance of gossip. Mm -hmm. About whom? And what would you wish to know? Anything, everything, about everyone. And if you lie and I find out you lie, I'll shoot you in the head. <laughs> Did you notice anything about Halcy and Helen before she died? You know, out of everyone here, I probably knew the least about Helen. I'm not much of an Aether Wave watcher myself. And Helen always had a crowd of admirers chasing her, you see? So she rarely stopped to chat. Friendly enough, surely, but always seemed untouchable. Hmm. Emphasis on seemed. Yeah, I guess seemed is the correct way to put it. Uh, did you ever see Helen acted sh acting strangely? Hmm. Now that you mention it, she was usually calm and collected, but every so often I'd see her looking all wild-eyed and intense. It seemed as if she was determined about something. Or maybe she was just hungry? That woman ordered a lot of food. Maybe show business gives you a faster metabolism. Hmm. That or cocaine. Heard Black Hole Birdie was staying here? Ah, uh, Who is Birdie. he? Is he bigger than he is dumb or dumber than he is big? I have a bet with a friend. Not sure we'll ever get it to pay out. Birdie used to be Helen's beau, though he isn't anymore and not just because she's dead. If I had a million bits, I'd spend everyone just to learn what caused their split. So would I. Unluckily enough, I only have 46 bits. Uh, Helen's co-star, Woolrich. Have any reason... He have any reasons to want her dead? If looks could kill, he'd have put her in the ground ten times over. Man's clearly jealous of her success compared to his. See, I'd bet we're the only two people thinking about him in all of Eridanos. And I only am because you mentioned his name. If you leave woolly cow milk out, it turns to curds. Leave the curds out, they begin to get stale, then rot. Woolridge is on his way to the trash bin, and everyone knows it. Either he's in denial, or he knew Helen would be checking out soon, judging by his increasing demands for a room upgrade. Well, too bad. And if he wants, if he comes up here demanding a room upgrade and he demands my penthouse suite, just send him up and I'll, uh, Take out the trash, so to say. Enough gossip. That's a shame, Inspector. What if I wanted to know a little about you? Come up to the room later tonight and you can learn anything you want. I'm a freelance captain, changing the colony one high stakes encounter at a time. And by that, I mean burning everything in my path to the ground and taking and looting what remains. A dashing gunslinger type, then. Uh-huh. I'm sure the investigation will turn out splendidly in your hands. You or could as well. Or at least Mr. Kincannon seems confident enough to believe so. Does he? Huh. I like it when people have confidence in me. It means it makes it easier to stab them in the back later on. I'm gonna check my rooms, right? Okay, goodbye. Thank you very much, dear. Well, see you later tonight, hopefully. Ah, I had to ask if my room's ready. Ah, yes. We are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, Inspector. The penthouse suite on our topmost floor is now available for you. Thank you. The last guest left her belongings behind when she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. Simply call the elevator in the lobby and our highly skilled operator will deliver you to your private floor with efficiency and cheer. Thank you. Um, also, I really wish you didn't touch anything up there because I absolutely would take every bit of it. Oh, not Norville. Hey, dude. Hello there, my inordinately esteemed guest. If my hello were any more earnest, this loudspeaker would explode. What authorized floor can I bring you to? Please don't make this thing explode. I already have a permanent concussion from explosions. I like to visit the VIP guest floor, penthouse suite. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. I'm gonna wrap things up a little bit. Done quite a bit for one episode. Do I have my own personal bar, bitch? Or Sam? Wait, what? You think they'd object to me setting up a tanning station here? 
Uh, no, I don't suggest it. Do you think it's strange that I kind of miss Ada? Honestly, I do too. She has my porn collection. <laughs> I kind of need that. Actually, no, they probably have one up here. Okay, let's see if he's got anything Inspector, interesting to say. I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. Yes. Halcyon Helen was an important cultural icon. She will be sorely missed. Let's skip the small talk. I still know way hire me. I'm usually causing murders, not solving them. I will be plain with you. I prefer not having to hire you at all. This matter should be resolved by Rizzo's security. But Cedric owns the land complexes, so we have a jurisdiction problem. Constable Keene encouraged us to hire a third-party freelancer. Right now, you're the best chance we have at resolving this incident and getting on with our affairs. Interesting. Why do I feel like he's part of it? Relax, I've been solving problems for two idiots who don't get along since Emerald Vale. Oh my god, I love it! I References! See. Well, I appreciate your candor. Yes, mm -hmm. let's go with that. Back to the matter at hand. Do Tell you me be about blunt your investigation. Me. So far, I found out she pro- Ooh, I've got a lead. I can't tell you why, because I need- I need- But I need to access the orchard. I like being mysterious. Like Sherlock Holmes setting up the taxi driver in the first book. Ooh. Your discretion is appreciated. I admit, I'm beginning to feel more confident in this arrangement. Oh yeah, Here, don't get me I'm wrong. I'm granting you access through the gates to the orchards. You're officially authorized to see this investigation through to the end. There is one caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. Possibly he's trying to hide something. Possibly he wants to annoy me. Possibly both. Hmm. Very interesting. I'll bear that in mind. You can't keep your people under control? Uh, so he locks his doors the moment an investigator arrives? That's not suspicious at all. I agree with the sentiment behind your snide remark. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Piraeus spaceport is Cedric's purview, not mine. You have a lead to chase. Law speed, Inspector. Indeed. Thank you. Ah, god damn it again with the leveling up! Stop! You're making me a better person. That doesn't make things more fun. It's better when I get my ass handed to me sideways. Uh, I love this game. I love everything about this game. I'm going to drop these points into long gun because that's going to be my primary weapon. I'm not looking to get killed. It's much. Actually, I lied. I'm going to split the points between hacking and... Lock picking, which now means I'm not on 69 lock picking, but the better I'm able to lock pick, the better I am able to steal literally everything in sight. Uh, skills, I've noticed that the bottom ones are really interesting. Oh, here's something interesting I didn't quite expect. 5% damage per flaw. If you don't know, the flaws are like, well, my... Permanent concussion. I have at least three of them. That's 15% more damage. And considering I'm most likely going to walk into something a few more times, I'll probably get another flaw. Oh. I see how all the abilities here. Not a bad one. God, I love everything about this. Okay. I'm going to end this episode of... Outer World uh, Murder on Erodius, the Outer Worlds DLC, off here. This is so much fun. You can tell based on my commentary and everything else, I am so excited to be in this. Also, I feel like the devs put some kind of safety in place for players that are like really they're close enough to level 30 that they could probably handle the DLC with a few extra levels, so they level them up a few times because honestly. The XP. I, I'm level 26. I jumped three levels and I haven't murdered a single person. It's a travesty of what I do. And soon I'll be able to actually use the level 27 gun without possibly losing it. <laughs> but yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm really, really going to enjoy this. I'm glad to be back to this. I have a bit of time before this episode has to go up, so I can consider this, but I'm considering making Thursday permanently murder on Erodius until I decide otherwise. 
because I'm having a lot of fun with this and I'm sort of struggling with other games. Skyrim's the only other game that I may be willing to put in this time slot, but right now I really, I, I love the Outer Worlds and I'm so glad to be doing this again. Every bit of it's amazing. Either, either way, for right now, if you enjoyed this episode of Murder on Erodius and Outer Worlds DLC, there's a play, there's two plays down in the description. One is for this series on the DLC, so you can watch all future episodes of that. The other one will be my Outer Worlds playlist, because I have played through and completed this game on the channel. It's a long-running play, it's a long-running series, uh, nine episodes or so so not many episodes but they were made over a very long period of time it's been it's a really good series and i do highly suggest going and checking it out if you want more outer worlds because no matter how tired exhausted murderous or crazed i was i always had great commentary with this game either way for right now i hope you all enjoyed this episode of the outer worlds um, murder on erodius say outer Right now, hope you all enjoyed this episode of Murder on Erodius, an Outer Worlds DLC. If you did, think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Other than that, be good, be well, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye!